This will be the first time in the history of Tunisia where a woman heads a government. She will remain in office until the end of this exceptional period. We will work together to eliminate the corruption and chaos that pervaded many institutions. In Let's speak to Sami Hamdi, who joins us now live from London. He's the managing director of the International Interest. That's a global uh, risk and intelligence company. Welcome, Sami. What do you make of this appointment? Uh, is it just cosmetic? Qais Saeed has been under heavy pressure from US and EU delegations to form a government. Qais Saeed has resisted because he doesn't want to form a government. He wants to rule as prime minister and as president. And on the 22nd of September, in his presidential decree, he announced that he is the head of the government. He takes the powers of the prime minister. He will appoint the government and he will uh, govern Tunisia. That wasn't enough to satisfy the U.S. Uh, and the EU. They demanded the appointment of a prime minister. So he's come up with this brilliant, very clever political maneuver in which the position of a prime minister that he has stripped of all powers, that he has seized the powers for himself, the position of prime minister, which is now essentially an obsolete position under this emergency period, emergency power. Qais Saeed managed to find his wife's friend, who is Ramdan uh, Boudin, uh, who is uh, Najla, Ram, Ram, Najla Boudin Ramdan, to appoint her as this prime minister with no powers whatsoever so that the world can celebrate the first female prime minister brought about by Qais Saeed's uh, measures. It is about the world seeing a woman in this position which has no power whatsoever and which Najla will be tasked with signing off on Saeed's nominations for the government, on Saeed's ministers, and the, the appointment of Najla is to ensure that statements such as that by Joseph Burrell by the EU, in which he mm -hmm. called for the formation of a government, Qais Saeed will now say, look, I appointed a prime minister, I appointed a woman, I appointed a woman without the hijab as well, which shows I'm very liberal and I'm really going towards progressive values. So please okay. get off my case and allow me to continue with this coup. And the reality is, as the, it's worked, the whole media now is describing the first female prime minister knowing full well she has no powers and that she's more akin to a private secretary whose signature is at the bottom of every paper as opposed to somebody who will be negotiating with the IMF or who will be uh, tackling corruption. So it's or optics then, just optics, Sammy. Is that what we're talking about with, with this appointment of the first female prime minister? It is optics, but it is a masterclass. It is a masterstroke. Even in your package here, you are describing Najla as somebody who has power, who will be negotiating with the IMF and the like. Al Jazeera and all these other media channels are presenting Najla as somebody who will have power when everybody knows that Najla has no power whatsoever. On the 22nd of September, Said took those powers for himself. He's the head of the government. And even the German embassy, Merkel, contacted Said last night to speak to him. The German embassy made no mention of Najla, made no mention of the first female Arab prime minister. Merkel saw right through it, and Merkel repeated her insistence through the German embassy readout that we want a return of parliament, we want a return to a constitutional order. In other words, it appears that Germany, or at least the policymakers, have rejected Said's optics move, even if the media are lapping it up with this idea of the first female prime minister, in which I argue she's not a prime minister because a prime minister has power and can actually form a government. Najla does not have that authority. She does not have that power. And Said is essentially playing, trying to resonate with Western circles and Western values in appointing Najla. And in reality, it is a huge insult to the women of Tunisia for Said to use a woman in this manner in order to justify his coup against the democratic transition. Sami Hamdi, it is always a pleasure to speak to you and uh, thank you so much for explaining uh, what that move is all about. Thank you, appreciate it.